Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the avocado and tomato sandwich. We start things off by mashing some avocado. No, it didn't say how much. And of course to that we add mayonnaise. It didn't say how much, so I'm not adding a lot. Now into buttered bread we put a leaf of lettuce, top with our avocado mayonnaise mixture, and sliced tomato. Oh, but it also said seasoned tomato. So naturally a little salt, a little pepper, and away we go. Okay, let's give this avocado and tomato sandwich a go. So that's really good. Uh, the avocado, you still get a lot of avocado flavor because I went kind of light on the mayonnaise because it didn't say how much I had to put in. Um, and that goes really well with, of course, the lettuce and the tomato. I do want to plus it up just a little though. I'm going to add a little salsa matcha. Basically a chili crisp from Mexico. It's got pumpkin seeds and almonds and sesame seeds and chilies and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, let's give this avocado and tomato sandwich plussed up with some salsa matcha a go. There's an earthiness and a nuttiness and a little bit of heat to that salsa matcha. It's going really well with the tomato, really well with the lettuce, and of course, the avocado. All right, so the original avocado and tomato sandwich, that was tasty. It was nice to have a recipe call for seasoning the tomato for a change. Um, the adding of mayonnaise to uh, avocado, to me, just dilutes it. I'm actually grateful there were no amounts in this recipe, so I could add just a little bit to say that I added it, but not enough to dilute it. Avocado worked well with everything. Uh, tomato worked well with everything. As a vegetarian sandwich, that's like a good solid seven. Uh, plus up with a salsa matcha, I'm bumping that up to a nine. Uh, amazingly complex flavor, uh, goes really well with the tomato, goes really well with the avocado, has just an amazing array of flavors. Hang on, I'll tell you. Avocado oil, roasted sesame seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds, roasted sliced almonds, garlic, wajillo peppers, sea salt, are bowl peppers. So it is delicious, big depth of flavor. Highly recommend you pick up some salsa matcha or you can make it yourself. There's a recipe at the New York Times that I use a lot to make it uh, here at home. So yeah, this is a fantastic vegetarian sandwich. And if you want to make it vegan, just leave out the mayo and the butter. I don't think you're going to miss it with the avocado, frankly. Uh, I'm definitely going to finish that and I would make the plus the version any day of the week. That is fantastic. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, and a quick note, there's many, many salsa matcha recipes and they vary widely. So, you know, just pick the one you like.